Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. Mike Gerben from Excel is fun to be joining us. Hey, Mike, this is either the last podcast of 2010 or depending if people aren't there on Friday, they catch us on Monday, the first one of 2011. So, Happy New Year either way. Uh, the question today is we have some data here and we want to highlight any cells where the blood pressure goes over this hurdle of 140. So, we want to have something that looks like this and change it into this. Uh, lots of different ways to do this. I'm just going to do uh, the really, really easy way. I'm going to choose the range where they're going to be entering that data. Normally, I'd go to Home and then in the Styles group, Conditional Formatting, but that's going to run off my screen. So, I take in this Conditional Formatting, I right-clicked and said Add to Quick Access Toolbar. So, now it's right up there. Okay, So, uh, we're going to go to Highlight Cells Rules, everything uh, greater than and I'm going to say greater than 139.99999. That will force it to be 140. I don't like light red fill with dark red text. I'm going to do a custom format. And there, what are we going to do? We're going to do the uh, fill of red, the font of white. Click OK. Click OK. All right, so there you have anything over. Uh, 130, essentially uh, 140 will handle that. We'll just try something here, 144, oh, it's over, uh, 99, under, and it doesn't get formatted. So, there you go. Mike, let's see what you have. Hey, thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, Happy New Year to you and to everyone out there watching. Hey, uh, blood pressures, 140, so the doctor says we have to watch, so we want to add some conditional formatting. Hey, what I like about Mr. Excel, I like the uh, fact that we just do highlight cell rules greater than boom there's a built-in feature right there greater than I'm gonna go down to more rules this was greater than I'm gonna do a greater than or equal to now instead of clicking more rules I'm gonna click escape here and I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut uh, to open up conditional formatting this works in all versions I'm gonna highlight all the way down the keyboard shortcut is alt o d alt o d and then I'm going to say new rule. And the one I want is format only cells that contain. Ah, the nice thing about this is here's the cell value. And I have a drop down that has lots of different options. What do I want? Greater than or equal to. Not only that, but I love when I see this collapsed, whoops, I love when I see this collapsed dialog box because it means I can link this, um, in essence, true false formula to something in the cell. So I'm going to click on this right there. There, and now it's linked there so I can change the cell and the conditional formatting will change. I'm going to say font red fill, oops, I mean font white fill red. Click OK, click OK, and boom. I'm going to do that same test, 144. Uh, very good, 99. Very good, and now if I change this, 130, let's say the doctor says, ah, we, we need to check lower than that. Boom, it's all done. Uh, how about this? What if we didn't want just the number but the date too, which means in essence we want the whole row highlighted based on a value in this cell here. Let's go down here. And the key to doing, um, and by the way, I don't think I know, I don't know how to do a built in uh, feature in conditional formatting to highlight a whole row. Uh, so I'm going to do a true false formula. And the trick to understanding true false formulas is hey, conditional formatting is just true, I want it formatted, or false, I don't want it uh, formatted. So I'm going to highlight this whole range here, and when you're doing true false formulas, you've got to be highlight the whole range and be aware of where the active cell is. We have to build the true false formula from the point of view of that cell. All right, highlighted, active cell right there. I'm going to Alt-O-D, new rule, uh, and down at the bottom, use formula click right here, there's that collapse button. I'm simply going to say what? Well, for this row right here, even though the active cell is uh, right there, that cell and this cell for this row needs to be looking there. So I'm going to say boop, that right there. there <coughs> excuse me. There's two dollar signs. I want it locked going this way, but when I copy down, I need to move to the next uh, blood pressure value. So I'm going to hit the F4 once and twice. That dollar sign in front of the B says the column is locked not the row. So when I move it down, those dancing ants will move down to the next one. Greater than or equal to, and I'm going to click on whoop, that one right there, locked in all directions. 
that will work. I'll click formatting, fill red, font white, click OK, click OK, click OK. Oh, just as uh, we suspected, it looks like it's going to work. 144.99, and I can go ahead and uh, change this also. All right, uh, I'll throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, Mike. Okay, now made me think of a couple of things when I watched uh, your method of doing that. One, in Excel 2007, in the beta, there was a way to highlight the whole row in the table, but they took it out. I guess it wasn't working. So I love your method using formulas. You know, also, there's a really, really old school way of doing this. Let me see if I can remember it. I'm going to go into Format Cells. That's Control-1. I'm going to go into Custom Format. And the code that I'm going to type here uh, in square brackets, I'm going to say greater than or equal to 1 40, close the square bracket. If that's true, then I want red, close the square bracket, uh, and then the format code 0, a semicolon. So in other words, if it's not greater than 140, then we just go back with a regular old format of you know, uh, black or whatever. Click OK. And what that does is anything greater than or equal to 140, uh, it will change it to red. The colors you can use there, I think, are the big seven. Red, blue, cyan, black, green, maybe yellow, I forget, white. Uh, so, you know, not uh, not that many different alternatives. But if you're just looking to change the color of the cells red, custom number formatting, a great way to go. Hey, all right, well, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. See you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.